both of the back legs of the puppet fell off oh, when no. I was in the back. You feel very exposed. <laughs> So I, I collaborated with uh, the puppet designer, Max Humphreys, and he's amazing at working out the sort of anatomy of puppets and that all the kind of different kinds of joint they need to move. Um, and so he had the idea for Aslan to feel like a sort of very ancient, kind of terracotta, kind of gilded, very kind of ancient being, sort of older that he says about that he was there before the laws of Narnia were written. So for him to feel really kind of ancient and powerful felt really important. And you, yeah, you get, you know, you do a lot, watch a lot of videos online of the specific animal that you're kind of puppet directing and learning where its emotional indicators are, how it uses its tail to express if it's angry or happy or sad, um, where, it's, where to show the breath in the puppet. Because for me, that's a real key thing of, of showing our emotion. You know, we take it for granted that we breathe and that our breath changes, but actually, when you watch a puppet do it, it's like you're sort of seeing it for the first time. It feels really miraculous. Um, and yeah, and I guess this production is quite unique because we have a sort of puppet and actor playing Aslan as one and you know in the book he's described as a lion but then he's described as being on his back legs so I was a bit like oh so he's a sort of human lion then a bit like sort of Wizard of Oz kind of lion but actually the challenge that we've kind of set ourselves that we're really enjoying is yeah being able to sort of tell as show Aslan's character in both animal and human form at the same time so that they can have different reactions to things you know if the witch is provoking him he can the, the actor can kind of remain really calm and still and very regal but you can see the puppet kind of bristle up and get tense it allows you to kind of tell a lot of different aspects and kind of subtext of one character in in two beings which is really exciting we've got three people operating the aslan puppet on one in the head one in the body on the legs and one on the tail and so when you're working with a kind of large scale puppet like that with three puppeteers you kind of have triple the lung capacity you know what i mean to, to kind of make noises and things like that so kind of different people take different responsibilities so you kind of got like the grumbling and the kind of chest and the kind of snarling um it's the head puppeteer and it, it's sort of finding what sounds people are good at and how to kind of utilize them but it's yeah it's exciting because you can obviously a bit like a sort of verbal mexican wave you can make really long noises between the three of you and and obviously have a lot more kind of lung power and, and capacity so we're, yeah finding ways that the breath and the sounds of Aslan can kind of emphasise his kind of emotional arc through the scenes. That's sort of why I love puppetry is that it invites the audience in and you know you, as an audience you're being asked to kind of impart your own emotions and, and feelings onto the kind of character um, and it just feels yeah it feels like sort of theatre at its most theatrical.